Hey everybody, it's Dave Vegdell, I want to create a quick video for those that are frustrated and can't figure out what's going on in Resolve 14. Got really laggy performance um, and I was running into the same issue. Basically what's happening is I had one project that was performing great and I go into another project and it was really laggy. But yeah, I was using a 4K timeline, 4K, same 4K clips and it was just not making any sense. It's like, what's going on? It must be like a project setting or something like that where you go and set up your project. It must be in here or something, but it wasn't. <laughs> so let me demonstrate to what you might be experiencing right now. So I'm gonna hit the Z key four times and hit play. Z is for zoom. And I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline and I'm gonna hit play. Here we go. One, two, three, four, play. And you can see, uh, oh, I wanna get my beer and my beer is taking a while to get here. I'm really thirsty and up oh, there it is, finally. Whew. Um, so let's do that again. This time, what I want you to watch is the thumbnail generation. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, play. Now watch the thumbnails are coming in, coming in. They're still being built, laggy performance. So basically there's two things going on at the same time here. There is the playback of the viewer window, which I think that's called the viewer window. And there's also the thumbnail generation. So there's two things going on at the exact same time. So if I bring the, uh, back to the beginning of the clip, and I've got three choices here. This is the highest performance over here, where uh, if I click it, basically it gets rid of all the thumbnails, gets rid of the audio waveforms, and performance is wicked clip fast. Now you'd think this would be the middle one, um, middle performer. You'd think this would be the worst performer because it's giving you multiple thumbnails within one clip, basically. So it's showing you multiple views. So if I click this, you'll notice that it updated, like this guy with the conch shell over here, you can actually see at the end of the timeline uh, versus a different where he's walking in. All right, so let's do this again. I'm going to zoom out and watch what happens. Well, just watch the performance. All righty. One, two, three, four, play. Oh, my beer is playing smoothly and I got my beer. Now watch what's happening here. I, I'm not going to hit stop because uh, usually sometimes the thumbnail generation can take, I don't know, about 10 seconds to come in. So we're going to wait a few more seconds here. In fact, we'll go to the next clip. And you'll notice that the thumbnails aren't generating. They're kind of going, not doing anything in the background. So when I hit stop, watch what happens. Thumbnails come in. Interesting. So let's do it again. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Let's go back to here. Uh, zoom out. All right, here we go again. One, two, three, four, play. And I've got a nice, smooth performance. Um, so what's going on here, I mean, you could look at like the GPU, um, which is up around 6 gig. Um, you can look at the uh, my 16 core uh, 7960X that's overclocked. This is a 1080 Ti. Now if I hit stop, watch what happens. Here comes the thumbnails. You can see that the memory use kicked up to 8 gig out of, I think, of the 1080 Ti is 12 gig, um, so there was some stuff going on there. And uh, in terms of the CPU, there's some stuff going on in the background, but not that much. Um, but if we go back to this other one, the middle one, you'd think would be the middle performer. And we go out, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Um, you can see that the memory use is staying around five or six gig. Uh, CPU is working hard. Um, but there's kind of this relationship between the CPU and the GPU, what's being, you know, this being chewed on and being fed into the uh, GPU 1080 Ti. So it's like, if you're running into this issue, I know it seems counterintuitive, but just put it on this one and the performance is just so much better. One, two, three, four, play. And you could see that the GPU will get, uh, get usually gets utilized more uh, and the CPU gets utilized less. And then, boom, you hit stop. Now, if you're zooming in and zooming out, um, thumbnails are very important to find out where you are. But a lot of times you're zooming in and zooming out, you, you know where you already are. Um, and then you could get the thumbnails later. I'd rather have the performance. So however they've got this coded up, if they were to actually go back into the coding and for this one and say delay the response or postpone the thumbnail generation until after you're done playing, that would make more sense. So if Blackmagic is watching this, you might want to code these up differently so they, this would become the middle performer. 
um, and maybe help other people like that are on a laptop. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps out a bunch of people that are running in the same situation I, I was. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.